Hi, my name is David Swallen, and this is my story. To start my story, I would like to go back to when I was a very young kid and raised up in a Christian family as my dad taught me and my siblings about the Word of God and about the Bible and taking us to church. And when I was about seven to eight, I had prayed a prayer, um, not to follow Jesus, but to um, go to heaven, I guess is the way to put it. And it was, I got, I did my prayer, I got baptized, and then I thought I was great. Like, I'm good to go to heaven. I don't have to worry about going to hell. And I didn't follow Jesus. I mean, I lived a very sinful life and struggled a lot through things, had some hard times, but my brother was uh, talking to me off and on for a little bit. And one time after work, I had called him and told him that I was, like, I was headed to Royal King to pick up cat food. And he met me there. And finally he was like, what? He's like, what is going on? What are you thinking? Like, what are you not picking up on here? And uh, I looked at him and I was like, everything that I have done in my past, all the sins that I have done, all my, I mean, quick to anger, drinking, everything. I was not a happy person with the way I was living. And I was like, why, how could God let somebody like me that has done all the sin into heaven? Like, I'm not worthy of that. And he opened his Bible and he was able to go straight to scripture and tell me um, straight from the Bible and not from, you know, his memory. And when he told me that, it was, it was a wow moment. I mean, it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders and I could breathe. And uh, it was like I just walked out of Royal King and took my mask off and I could finally breathe fresh air. I mean, it was amazing. With reading the Bible, I'm slowly changing. I'm not a perfect man. But what helps me through my days the most would probably be 1 Timothy chapter 3 where it speaks about a husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, which is what I think about on a daily basis when I'm at the shop and I lose a tool, I can't find it ever. It could be ever dumb things that I would get angry about, but instead of getting angry, I always think of not violent um, when I have a rough day at work because we all have those and for a second I'll be like I can't wait to get home and open up a beer I mean not a drunkard I mean that's that's not a way to deal with bad days instead I like to go home and open up my bible and read